this is Inventex CEO, Jack, Jack Sai. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. We're very good partners building yeah. AI servers. Very nice to see all, all of you. Yeah, we I came to I came to Taiwan. I came to Taiwan this year to uh, see all of our partners. For example, Eventech, we work very closely to build AI systems and AI infrastructure. I met with uh, Qantas CEO and his management team, ASUS, uh, Gigabyte, uh, and also Foxconn. And we have wonderful partnerships with Inventech. We are announcing a, or launching, we're ramping uh, into production a brand new generation of uh, AI uh, chips called Grace Hopper. And so we're preparing all of our partners to uh, ramp the next, uh, next computing revolution for artificial intelligence. Uh, let's see, what else did I do uh, this trip? I also had, uh, I had a wonderful dinner with Morris and Sophie. Uh, Sophie cooked me a very nice dinner. Uh, I had a, uh, an announcement yesterday with Foxconn to uh, announce our expanded partnerships, building AI factories and AV factories. And so uh, we had a lot, of, we had a very busy week this week. The U.S. now is sending more AI chips to China. How are you going to handle this situation? Well, we, yes, we, we have, of course, uh, yesterday, the United States government uh, issued new regulations. Uh, we're in the process of studying that. Uh, uh, clearly, it will have an impact on the China market and industry. Uh, of course, of course, uh, national security is very important. Uh, following and uh, complying with the U.S. regulations is vital, and we will do so. Uh, once we do so, uh, we will do our best to support uh, the markets around the world. Uh, of course, uh, expanding and having a large market is very important to us. And so, and we have customers in China that we have to continue to honor. So we'll do our best to support them after we follow the uh, U.S. regulations. Well, some say that Nvidia might lose the whole Chinese market. Is that true? Uh, I hope not. I hope that's not true. Uh, we have to continue to, of course, build the best products we can. Uh, that is within the regulations of the within the compliance of regulations. Uh, China has many many technology companies as well, and. Uh, um, Huawei, as you know, is very formidable. Uh, there are many good companies in, in China, uh, and so we'll have to do we'll have to do the best we can to compete with the the local industry. Uh, but we'll do our best uh, and see what happens. So there is a possibility. There, of course, you know, no every company has to fight for business. There, there, there no business comes easily, and so now it's going to be even more challenging. But we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Yes, uh, you know the war in, in Israel, uh, between Israel and, and Gaza is, uh, uh, and the Hamas is um, uh, very devastating. NVIDIA has 3,300 employees in Israel. Uh, we have Palestinian uh, uh, employees uh, that are in Gaza and West Bank. And so, uh, and we've lost, we've lost uh, um, uh, the daughter of one of our very, very uh, beloved uh, founders of Mellanox, uh, and um, we have many employees that have been reactivated uh, as uh, to go into military service. And so, uh, our our hearts are are um, are and our minds are with all of our employees there and and everybody who has been affected there. Uh, I hope for peace very soon. And um, uh, but it's it is a very de devastating situation. Uh, I'm planning to leave Taiwan on Saturday morning. Yes, Saturday morning. Well, I have I try to come to Taiwan at least twice a year. Uh, this year, this this time I came because of Computex. I also uh, came this trip because we are ramping this new architecture called Grace Hopper. It's our next generation architecture. It's a revolutionary architecture and it's designed for AI uh, infrastructure and AI factories. And so I want to come and, and visit our partners like Jack and Inventec uh, uh, firsthand to talk about the strategies. 
Uh, I also came, uh, I, I visited with uh, uh, CC at TSMC uh, to uh, talk about uh, increasing capacity and increasing supply. And uh, the, our TSMC friends are doing very, very, very good job for us. And they're working very hard and our supply continues to increase. Uh, but the demand is very, very high. And so I came to ask him for support. Yeah, so I, I had a lot of work this time and I look forward to coming back soon, but at least twice a year, at least twice a year. Has the U.S.'s uh, latest restriction affected the media's cooperation with uh, TSMC? Uh, TSMC is focused on, on um, uh, expanding uh, internationally, and one of course, one of the, fab, one of the fabs are going to be in the United States. Uh, that will improve our ability to have uh, resilience in a supply chain uh, having manufacturing here in Taiwan, uh, as well as having manufacturing in, in the United States. Uh, but our, uh, our collaboration with TSMC is so deep, and our friendship with TSMC is so long, uh, our two companies are going to be working together for decades to come. How is their trading, trading Taiwan feel like food in Taiwan? I love the food in Taiwan. I've, uh, there's a restaurant called Flowers. Uh, and their, the restaurant owners are very, very nice. So if, if you get a chance, it's across the street from Mandarin Oriental. So go, go see Flowers. It's a very good restaurant. And yesterday afternoon, I had uh, pig's feet. And, so that was really good. I'll see what I get for lunch today. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very hungry already. <clears throat> well, allow me to go back to the yeah. restriction. Uh, yeah. If the U.S. continues to block sales of NVIDIA chips to China, uh, will that affect the U.S. cooperation with Taiwanese uh, companies? Uh, absolutely not. Taiwan, Taiwan is a, is a um, uh, the Taiwan industry is global. Uh, as you know, the Taiwanese companies here serve the computer industry around the world. This is the, the world's headquarters of semiconductors and computer technology. And um, uh, if you if you uh, if you look at the, the customer base of the Taiwan uh, industry, technology industry, it serves literally every single country, every single computer company, and every single industry around the world. And so our, our partnership with Taiwan is very very deep. It's ex extremely broad and it's global. So what is the next step for Nvidia? Do you plan to launch even lower scale chips in China? Something like that. Uh, we first of all we have to understand the regulations. It's several hundred pages, and so we've been I've been up all night uh, talking to the team uh, in California, and um, I, we're trying to figure out as quickly as possible uh, what the regulation implies or, or uh, consists of, and make sure that we comply with that 100%. Uh, once we do that, uh, we'll we'll uh, look for ways to uh, continue to support uh, the the market in, in China. Uh, but the most important thing is to comply with the regulations. So before you leave Taiwan, are you going to meet anyone else? Well, I've, I've, got, I've got many CEOs I have to meet. Uh, as, as you know, I've already met with, um, as I said earlier, I've already met with, with uh, CC at TSMC, and I and, uh, had a very good meeting with Jack and his team uh, in Ventec. And uh, this, is, this is, as you know, one of, one of the prides and joys of Taiwan. <laughs> Uh, one of the world's leaders in server technology and server infrastructure. Uh, they're a very important partner of ours in the uh, building of AI infrastructure. Uh, yesterday, I, I had a very nice day and we announced um, uh, an extended partnership with Young at, at, uh, at Fox, Foxconn. Um, I have several, several other meetings with uh, Gigabyte and uh, the first night I was here, I had, had dinner with uh, uh, CC at uh, Quanta and his management team. And, uh, so anyways, I'm, I'm meeting all of the leaders here in Taiwan.
OK， 恭喜，感谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。